All right, this is uh, lesson 70, translating logarithmic functions. So raise your hand if you remember from geometry the word translate. And, it, and raise your hand and tell me what does it mean. Let's see, Raul, what does it mean? No, that is uh, reflecting. It's a transformation. Yep. It's like, it's still the same graph, but like it's a move. Yeah, it's like you're literally sliding it, okay? It's, it's like sliding it. You're keeping the same graph, except you're sliding it. So in math, a lot of the graphs that we use... So a lot of the graphs that we use, uh, they, they're very similar. Once you see the patterns, you're like, oh, okay, I could just take the original one and slide it around. Once you see the patterns of the numbers, because in math we've learned how to organize the numbers so that we can easily graph things. And a lot of... What well, we have now is technology, but if you know how to own math, you know how to shift things around, you can easily manipulate it. You can graph the way you want to, okay? Um, and sometimes you can move it left to right, sometimes you can move it up and down. So, for example, like a linear graph, right? It could have the same slope, but shift up, right? So, for example, there was an earthquake, I think it was in 94, it was the Northridge earthquake, uh, 2095, it was like 20 years ago. And uh, the mountains right here, I think it was Mount Wilson, shifted, it increased in elevation by like six feet. That's how powerful it was. Can you turn it off? Whatever it is. You're not sure, just turn it off. Um, so, um, the, the, that was really crazy to me that the mountains shifted up. Because to me, I looked at the mountains and I'm like, it looks the same. There's the same shape, the same slope when I'm looking at the mountains. But I can't tell that it's higher, right? So. The slope was the same, except that the mountain shifted higher. So that's the concept. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, here are the steps. Put them up on the board. You can write them down. Take a moment to write these down. Go. All right. So those are the steps. Here we go. I'll show you how to do a couple of them. This is what your homework's going to look like. Let me go get the phone. Okay. So on your homework, you have a... Uh, It'll say write the equation of logarithm that shifts up 5 and left 3. So this is the skill. This is the basic skill. So we need to learn how to shift it up and down, left and right. So to shift it up and down, we know that we're going to have to take um, our <coughs> k and shift it up. And uh, to shift it left, we have to change our h. So here we go. So on number 1, first thing you want to do is identify all the parts. So we know that our 4 is our base. Negative 1 is our h, and this is our k, okay? So we need to just follow suit and do what it says. So it says uh, shift the logarithm up 5. So I'm going to go to my k first, and I, I know to shift it up, I need to add 5 to the k. So 5 plus 5 is 10, so I'm going to literally write 10 down here underneath it. And then it says it shifts uh, left 3, so I know that if I wanted to shift the graph to the left, I need to increase h by 3. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2, so I'm going to uh, put plus 2, and then just bring down the rest of the problem. Log, base, 4. We want to make sure we copy the same base. We want Don't just assume it's a common log. And that's it. That's how you do number 1. Right? Cupcakes. So again, what did I do? I just identified our, the parts of the equation. Looked at the directions, it says shift up 5 and left 3. So I know in order to shift the graph up or increase k, I have to increase k. So it says shift up 5. So I took k, 5 plus 5 is 10. Okay. Then I need to shift it left 3. It says to shift the graph left, increase h. Okay. h originally was negative 1. So negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. And then I brought the rest of the problem down. Does that make sense? Yeah. Easy. Watch me do number 2. Uh, number two, it says the same thing. We're going to sh shift it up five and over three. So go to your k. Negative two plus five is positive three. And then we have negative two plus we're going to shift it left three. So we're going to take negative two and we're supposed to increase h by, um, or we need to gra graph it to the left. So increase h by three. So negative two plus three is positive one. And we have log base 3 and the y. And that's it. Okay. Okay, continuing on, number 2. Or 3, I'm sorry. So number 3, let's do it together. 
the, the question says, write the equation of the logarithm that shifts down 6 and right 3, okay? All right, so write the original problem down. We're going to do this one together. So we're going to shift it down uh, 6 and right 3. So first thing you want to do is figure out what your k is. So start with uh, k, which is negative or positive 4. And we need to shift this down 6. So what's 4 minus 6? Negative 2. Negative 2, good. All right. And then we have to shift right 3. So we got to go to our k, which is negative 1. When we're shifting right, when we shift to the left, we have to increase h, but we're going to shift the opposite way, so we're going to go, we're going to decrease it by how much? Decrease by three. Okay. So, what's negative one minus three? Negative four. Negative four. So we write down negative four here. You're all doing this one together with me, writing this down as I go. Okay, again, four minus six is negative two. Negative one minus three is negative four. We have log base 5, which is all equal to y, right? And you just box your answer. That's all we're doing today. Does that make sense? Let's have you do number 4 by yourselves, and I'll call on you. Go. So for number 4, that's the answer right there. Really easy, okay? So once you get the hang of it, it's going to be do two subtraction or addition problems or whatever needs to be done, and then you just rewrite it, okay? That's the skill for today. So that's how we translate. Now, let's say we wanted to graph it, okay? Pause right here. Okay, so graph the translation of a logarithm that shifts up five and left three. So on this part of the uh, on this part of the lesson now, we, we know how to graph. We learned that yesterday, so that's kind of a hard one. But we also need to combine it with the skill set that we learned today, which is shifting it up down left and right, okay, or translating it. Does that make sense? Yeah? Right, Adam? Yeah? Okay. All right, so what we need to do is, first thing is apply the skill we learned today, which is we're going to translate it up 5 and left 3. So we're going to take our H and K. We said it's going to shift up, so I'm going to rewrite this as follows. Is it going? I didn't write down. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this as follows. We have log base 5 of x minus 1 plus 3. So we have to shift it up 5. So our 3 plus 5 is 8. Okay. And then we said it's going to shift left 3. So if we need to shift left, we need to increase h. So negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. So we have x plus 2. And then we have log base 5. Did I make a mistake? No, I'm oh, okay. <laughs> log base 5 is equal to y, okay? <clears throat> Does that make sense so far? So now we're going to take what we learned yesterday and apply it here. We're going to graph this. So we're going to switch this to, a, to the inverse. We're going to switch x and y. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to subtract 8. So it's going to be x minus 8 is equal to log base 5 of y plus 2. Okay, and we're going to switch this to an exponential form, so it's 5 to the x minus 8 is equal to y plus 2. And then we have subtract 2 on both sides, so we have y is equal to 5 to the x minus 8. Oh. x minus 8 minus 2, okay? That's our exponential form. Now we need to create an xy chart. Now, what, hap what would happen if I would have put, uh, pick 0, 1, 2, and 3 for my x's right now? What would happen if I put 0? What would my answer be? Five, what's 0 minus 8? Negative 8. Okay, so what's 5 to the negative 8? A really small fraction. Would you all agree? Yeah. So it's kind of, it's kind of um, that would be a very redundant answer. So 
we kind of want to be a little more intentional what inputs we put, pick. So what I like to do is take the exponent and I ask myself, how do I make my exponent 0? What should x be first? 8, eight right? Because 8 minus 8 is 0. So I'm going to pick 8. I'm going to pick 9 and 10. OK, let's start there. Inputting 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. 5 to the 0 is 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. 5 to the 1 is 5. Minus 2 is 3. 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. Um, 5 squared is 25 minus 2 is 23. So now that's a big number, right? This is not going to fit on my graph. So I'm just going to stop there. Now I want to just think the opposite way just to make sure. So I'm going to put 7 in as an input. So 7 minus 8 is negative 1. 5 to the negative first is 1 fifth. 1 fifth minus 2 is negative 1 and 4 fifths, OK? 1 fifth minus 2 is negative 1 and 4 fifths. And the easy way to do that is just subtract 2 minus 1 fifth and then just make a negative, right? All right, and I know that these, as, uh, as my numbers get, my inputs get smaller, my x's will be um, even more fractional. So I'm going to stop right there because I know that's what's going to happen. So now we're going to take our and we're going to flip them, okay? So you have 7, 8, 9, 10. Copying down negative 1 and 4 fifths. Uh, negative 1, 3, and 23. Okay, and we have to plot these points. So negative 1 and 4 fifths, we're going to go up 7. So we're going over negative 1 and 4 fifths, about to here, and up 7. So it's going to be all the way up to here. And then we have negative 1, 8, which is on this point. 9, 3, I'm sorry, 3, 9 which is about here, right? And then the next ones are just going to shoot across. I also know that there's going to be probably points here because these will all be fractional at this point. So this is my asymptote. So I'm going to draw my graph down, not crossing negative 2, and draw my graph to the right. We know that this is what's going to happen, right? OK. Does that make sense? Yeah. OK. So that's how you graph a uh, translated function. So you should write this one down. I'll leave it up. But that's the rest of, or that's the end of our lesson for today.